Hi, I'm Natasha Mostert and I'm very excited to tell you about my new suspense novel. It is titled The Keeper here in the United Kingdom and readers in the United States can find it under the name Keeper of Light and Dust. When I sat down to write this book, I was inspired by the many myths and legends that feature battle-scarred warriors who are protected or cursed by beautiful, powerful women. And so I created the character of Mia Lockhart. She is my heroine. She lives in London uh, in the present day, and she makes her living as a tattoo artist. However, she also has a secret. She is a keeper. She is descended from a long line of women who, over the ages, have protected men who are engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Fighters. These women, these keepers, are healers, and they are able to draw on their own vital energy, their chi, to protect the men in their keep. Mia is the protector of a small group of martial artists who train in a fighter's dojo in a rather gritty um, neighborhood in South London. Now, I really like this idea. I like the idea of a fragile woman taking care of these big, strong, tough fighters. There's something very sexy in this concept, which is probably why it is an idea that is found um, everywhere in mythology and legend, uh, albeit in various incarnations, because really legends um, are all about sex and passion sudden death, grand obsessions, and I wanted to use some of this in my modern story as well. People ask me, why have you decided to set this book in the world of martial arts? Well, I'm a kickboxer. I'm a very keen kickboxer. I do full contact sparring. And over the years, I've broken my little toe and I've bruised my ribs and cracked my nose. And last year, I broke my ankle and that wasn't fun. But as you can tell, I'm a very enthusiastic kickboxer. And by this time, you probably think not a very good one either. And you may be right. But I'm privileged to train alongside and to be trained by a group of men uh, who are very talented fighters. Some of them are um, title holders or have won titles in the past. I made the decision to, uh, to keep it very real, to keep the story grounded in reality. I wanted to... Um, really give a, um, a good approximation of the experiences that I myself have in the dojo. And it is quite a gritty environment. Um, actually, it, to be really honest, it's, it's quite a smelly environment. We're all sweating, our wraps are damp, uh, we're barefoot. Um, there's blood sometimes, but it's also a wonderful environment because it's just filled with energy and the camaraderie is, is amazing. So I really wanted to try and capture that. My other big uh, source of inspiration was the world of science. Uh, quite by chance, I read a book about biophotonic emissions inside the human body. And what that really is, it's light inside the body. And I never knew about this. Uh, before I read this book, um, I didn't know that all of us have these tiny, tiny, tiny fugitive pulses of light uh, inside of us. And, and I find that uh, really quite wondrous. Um, in fact, I find it poetic. And I started doing obsessive research on the topic and just decided this is too good to waste. I have to use it in my book. So what I've done is I've created a villain his name is Adrian Ashton, and he's a scientist. He's a very gifted scientist. He's genius. And he's made a link between the light in our bodies and that very elusive concept that is qi. Qi, according to uh, traditional Chinese medicine, is the vital energy that flows through our bodies, and it is key in our mental and our physical well-being. Qi has never been established uh, empirically inside a Western laboratory. Uh, you can't cut through an artery and look at qi. And it is not a concept that's used in Western medicine. But in China, it's different. In China, there are acupuncture studies that go back 2,000 years. Um, so I wanted my villain to, um, to establish in science a link between vital energy and the light inside our bodies. And he does that. But he does more than that. He cracks the secret of how to capture uh, the chi of his victims, how to make that energy his own.
So I suppose what I've done is I've taken the old vampire archetype and I've added a modern twist to it. I've, uh, I've really, I suppose, created a vampire for the 21st century. My villain isn't interested in blood. He, uh, he's searching for, for light. He's a thief of light. Um, so he's a genius, but he also makes one error. He targets the man uh, with whom my heroine is in love. And of course, that sets the stage for a violent confrontation between them. But it's not quite straightforward because she feels herself drawn to him. He's a very seductive personality and she's fascinated. But of course, her attraction to him blunts her skills and she's placing herself and her beloved in great danger. In the end, it becomes a fight to the death in which love is both the greatest weakness and the greatest prize. So that's my story, and I hope if you do pick up this book, you will enjoy it. I would also love to invite you to play the game that I've designed and which is based on my book. Uh, you can access it at my website, or you can go directly to thekeepergame.com. And it's in the form of a personality quiz, and I think you're going to have some fun with it. People who play it um, really seem to enjoy it, and they want their relatives to play as well, because they want to find out if the person they're living with is a thief, a warrior, or a healer. Uh, depending on the answers you give in this quiz, um, that will be one of your profile types. Um, and as I say, people do seem to have um, a lot of fun with this. So I hope to see you there. Um, until such time, take care and here's wishing you good energy.